Hi everyone, it's Brian Shearer back with another Clip Studio Paint tutorial and I'm really excited about this one because it took me forever to get this resolved. Hey, if you found these videos helpful, you can get more tips, tutorials, and access to my digital library of work by joining Patreon or my Locals.com account. Someone in my chat pointed this out and I wish I could remember who it was during a live stream, but if you are using the circle tools, go over here to the shapes, the figures and go down here to the ellipse tool. Um, the default and for the life of me, I don't know why. If I start on this point and pull, it kind of floats down, right? And so if, if you don't know if I hold shift, it becomes a circle, but you have to let it go and then click again because what it's doing here is um, once you let go, it's adjusting the angle just as a side note. All right, so let's say I have got it the way it the default is and if you've ever tried to do a circle in a circle let's say I wanted the edge of the of the ellipse to be right here and it floats down it's like oh it just doesn't work here's what you do so what we need is this to start from the center so I'm gonna go over here and this is what makes it so hard is uh, that with all these settings you have to go all the way down here to this tiny little wrench that pops up this dialog box and go to shape operation and hit start from center and just close that. And then once you start here, look at this, it's right from the middle. All those problems are now solved. It's one of these things, if you're not really actively looking and you're just kind of casually frustrated, you might, and you look over here in all these settings, you might not find it. So you have to go way down here to the bottom and click on that. So it also works for the rectangle tool. So the rectangle, obviously starts at a certain point, but it's not a big deal because unlike the ellipse, it doesn't float. But uh, you can go down there just like that, hit the wrench shape operation, and you can make that start from center as well. So I uh, hope that helps. Go fix your ellipse tool. Again, I don't know why that it's set that way from the default. Let me know in the description if this helped, if anything was confusing, and let me know other tutorials that you'd like to see in the future. See you next time.